In this video, I'll tell you how you can create an awesome pie chart which looks like this one using MS Excel. I'll also tell you how you can convert your data labels into percentages and by the end of this video, I'll also tell you how you can make one slice of your complete pie which stands out from the other slices. So let me take you to my screen and let's create it. What are pie charts and when we use it? Pie charts are commonly used charts in Excel because they are very useful. Pie charts can show a lot of information in small amount of space. They show how different categories are adding up to a whole. So we use pie charts to display the data which have small number of categories and all these categories sum to 100%. How to create a pie chart? Let's take this example. I have in total 50 students in the class and for a subject we have grades from A to D. Grade A being the highest score and grade D being the lowest score. In my data, I have number of students falling under each grade. Let's create a pie chart for this data. Select your entire data first and then go to insert. Under charts, you have an option recommended charts. This is the fastest and shortest way to get a chart for your data. When you click on it, Excel is very smart. It will recommend the different types of chart which you can create for your data set. It is showing column chart, bar chart and pie chart. So we will use pie chart here and click OK. Let me show you one more way of getting the charts. I am deleting this chart. Just select on the chart area and press delete. Select your entire data. Go to insert. Under charts, you have this circle icon. When you click on it, it will show you 2D pie, 3D pie and donut. I will cover the donut charts in the next video. Today we will go with 2D pie chart. Drag your chart wherever you want to place it in your file. Change the chart title to let's say subject performance. You can also format it from your home tab. Make it bold and underline. At the bottom, you have legends. You can also format them. So make it bold and a bigger font so that they are visible on your chart area. Let's add the data labels to these slices. Click on this plus icon and select data labels. You will see the number of students in each slice. Let's convert these numbers to percentages. Pie charts usually present data in percentages. So select your data labels and press Ctrl and 1 key to get this window of chart fields from where you will have the full control on your chart settings and formattings. You can also get it by just double clicking anywhere in the chart. Select your data labels. The elements which you will select here will show you different options in this window. So I am selecting the data labels because we want to do changes in these data labels. Go to this icon, label option, check percentages and uncheck values. You will get your percentages for each slice. You can also change the label position, center, inside end, outside end and best fit. Let's make these data labels bold and some bigger font to make it visible. If you don't like these white separators of the slices, you can get rid of them by selecting the pie. Make sure that the complete pie is highlighted. Go to this option. Check if pie exposure is 0%. If not, make it 0. Then go here under borders select no line you can also move your legends if you want to make them sit by the side of pi now we are left with only one thing which is making one slice stand out from the other slices let's make grade a stand out select your pi select only this slice go to this option and from point exposition make it something more let's say 10 press enter and here you go let's remove the outline border of the chart 
So select the chart, go to the borders and no line. Your pie chart is now ready to go. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel to support me and to watch more videos like this. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and happy learning.